Good afternoon. My name is Andy Pryor, and this is my capstone. What did I do for my capstone? I chose to walk dogs. I charged $10 for whatever I was really doing with that dog on that day, no matter how much time I would spend with it. And all the money for that I earned uh, is, went to the Humane Society of the Tennessee Valley. What is the Humane Society? Well, it's an animal shelter located off Middlebrook. It's a great place, and a lot of great people work there. They do a lot of good stuff for uh, all the animals they have there, dogs and cats. They provide vaccines, they neuter, and you can adopt there. Why did I walk dogs? Well, the inspiration behind it was my dog, Sophie. Uh, I love walking her, so I figured if I was gonna spend my time doing a project for school, I would do something I love, like walking dogs. It was also something I could do to help people out. A lot of the times, owners of dogs, like two parent households, they both, both parents work all day and the kids are at school, so the dogs don't really get a lot of exercise. They're just sitting in the house all day. So it's something I can do to you know, help those owners out, let their dogs get outside a little bit. I walked a total of 22 dogs, some on multiple occasions and I raised $310 for the Humane Society. I need to say thank you to all my friends because a lot of them let me walk their dogs for the money while their parents were at work or while they were at school. I also dog, sit, dog sat for some people, including my math teacher, Miss Huey. Where did we go and what did we do? We went to neighborhoods walked around the neighborhoods. I took them to dog parks, like off North Shore, and we would get in the water, swim. We played some catch, different kinds of games, and all the good dogs got treats afterwards. This is my mentor, and it's not a joke. This is my dog, Sophie. The reason I chose her as my mentor is, well, for one, I love her more than anything in the world. She's also taught me a lot through this whole process. She's the first dog that I really started walking. So technically, I learned how to walk dogs from her. She also taught me a lot about myself, such as commitment. Sometimes my parents go out of town for a week or a weekend, and she's completely reliant on me. If I don't feed her water, give her water, take her out, she, she won't do good. She could die if I don't feed her. So she's completely relying on me and I have to be committed to her. She's also taught me a lot about love. Good dogs, especially my dog Sophie, they love very purely. She is completely satisfied just by my presence around her and I think that humans can learn a lot from that. Oftentimes, like, we'll get, like, you know, down on certain stuff and we don't realize that the people around us who love us, like, we don't just, we're not just satisfied with that. Some reflections and takeaways. Big thing I learned about the commitment is kind of what I touched on earlier, but also whenever I had another person's dog, I would be kind of nervous, you know, because I'm completely responsible for it. If it runs off and gets off the leash and gets hit by a car, that's my fault. The owners were trusting me with the dogs. So I really had to be committed to taking care of them and making sure they had everything they need and keeping them safe. Another thing is humility. Pretty much that just means picking up after them. Either they tear something up or they go to the bathroom in someone's yard and I can't just leave that there. My biggest issue I had was definitely scheduling and my time management. I go to school and I work anywhere from four to six days a week. So it was really hard to find time to get like hours in finding finding people 
it was hard to finding dogs to walk, but that was definitely the biggest issue I had was what to do with my time and how much time I could spend during the day with the dogs. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed my capstone. <laughs>